Hey folks, uh, my name's Jude. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Today we're in Tyro, Kansas, installing a sound system in a church building built in 1907. There's gonna be a lot of challenges and I wanted to show you everything that's involved in laying out the speaker location, mounting speakers, and then running the wire in a building that was never designed to do what we're gonna do today. Speaker number one is up and holding. Good job. I wanted to get the speaker up first because it's on a stud wall. The location of the stud was gonna determine the location of the speaker. Now this side is on concrete block or stucco or brick. I don't quite know what's behind there yet, but I knew that I had a pretty open canvas to work with on this side. And something else that we need to try to figure out is how are we gonna get the wire? I hate exposed wires. I hate wire mold. It just looks junky but sometimes you have to do it. I'm hoping to be able to take a long masonry bit and drill at an angle by the speaker bracket, drill at an angle, come out through this side of the wall, maybe back behind this piece of molding. Trim is good for pulling off and running cables behind if you have to. That uh, revealed a nice chase. We got high voltage in here. We'll have to stay away from the high voltage or cross it at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to take the 16 inch masonry bit and now drill at an angle through whatever surface this is. And I should be able to poke out inside this chase up top. Now, when we use masonry uh, drill bits, we want to make sure that we hold away from any outside corners because this could fracture real easy and just blow off the whole side. I'm gonna lay out the marks on the wall, do a couple test holes to sample what the material is behind the paint, and then prep to drill that uh, 3 8 hole 16 inches into that chase. This is a 3 16 bit. I'm just going to do a sample hole. There's uh, concrete, looks like, and some brick. We're real close. There she is right there. Perfect. Okay. Now we can hide the wire. wanted to run the speaker wire now because once I get the bracket on, the bracket may not line up perfectly. So I want to make sure that we got the wire ran through. I like the way that one held. Because I'm uncertain on what I'm screwing into, that impact driver can strip out the concrete real quick. So I'm going to finish it off with a nut driver just to kind of feel what I'm grabbing onto. I'm listening to see if I hear stuff starting to give. I'm always so afraid I'm going to drop these speakers whenever we hang them. going to tuck this wire behind this trim and zip it across to the other side. These little trim wonder bars or pry bars are awesome for working around molding, pulling it back, dropping the wire in place. Unless you drop it. When you drop a tool, it's nice to have a magnetic tape measure. There it is right there. Came through the top of the ceiling perfect and it poked into the room. That will work out 
quite nicely. 